Overview of compartment models. Compartments are theoretical spaces which do not exist. They can be defined as mathematical concepts which describe a space in the body which a drug occupies. It is not usually an anatomical or physiological volume. They completely oversimplify in regards to the true physiological processes within the body. They are used in TV-based anaesthetic to estimate the plasma and effects site, i.e. the brain concentrations of a specific drug. They illustrate absorption, distribution, metabolism, reabsorption, elimination of a specific agent. One compartment is the most simple form, so you give the drug into the compartment a volume. The drug fills the volume and then is eliminated over a period of time. Two compartment models are a little bit more complicated, so you still have one compartment, then we have an additional compartment. So the drug is given to in the central compartment, the, the vasculature. As the drug increases uh, in concentration, this will cause distribution to peripheral compartments at a specific rate, i.e. rate constant. For this we can call it K12. As the concentration of drug in the central compartment decreases, there will be redistribution back into the central compartment from the peripheral compartment at a specific rate, K21, and then there'll be elimination of the drug. Three compartment models. So compared to the two compartment, you add an additional compartment, a different additional volume. So in this case, again, you give the drug into, for example, the central compartment, the vasculature. This will then um, fill up the, the vasculature, increasing the concentration of the drug, and there'll be distribution to the vessel rich initially and then the vessel poor as the concentrations increase at specific rate constants i.e. K12, K13. The effect site i.e. the brain comes from the central compartment so as the concentration of the drug increases in the central compartment this will then diffuse uh, into the brain via a lipid soluble agent and as the as there's ongoing elimination from the central compartment, for example, if the drug's turned off, um, the concentration in the central compartment will decrease, and then there'll be redistribution back from the vessel rich and vessel poor compartments at specific rates, i.e., rate constants, causing elimination of the drug over a period of time.